Let's cover the topic of groups. We have just a file loaded and showing all the waypoints. And as you can see, we're halfway down the page and we have lots and lots and lots and lots of waypoints. This file covers many, many lakes over a long period of time. Lots of icons stored and so uh, it's very unmanageable. Uh, how do you know where Waypoint 609 is. Uh, I can click on that and go to Google Earth and it'll show me, but you know I've got lots and lots of waypoints here. Another way I can do it is I can sort by longitude and latitude and that will help somewhat. Here's an implementation of groups. We're on my home lake of Ray Hubbard and I have lots and lots of icons and what I've done is I've organized them in groups. And I have Yankee Creek, I have a power line area, underwater railroad, Rush Creek, Red Barn area, so on and so forth. All the icons that are in Yankee Creek I have put under this group and you can see them here. So that way I can keep them together logically. I can also on my Humminbird unit on the lake select Yankee Creek, select the group and it will bring up these icons for me. So it's a very handy tool and will help you keep organized. Let's go through the exercise of setting up some groups. If I will click and expand the groups, we see that we have a home. And if I'll click on waypoints, it looks identical to the waypoints we have just under our folder. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon, new group. And so I've done that and uh, I'm going to right click on this and open in a new window and so these are the icons we have for that group which are zero right now because we haven't put any in there and so what I can do is I can let's say if I want this one and I'm holding down the shift or the control key this one this one and this one if I want to copy those I can do a control V and copy them into that group so now that group is populated with some information and I can also go in here and rename this, edit it and call it group number one. Oh, it didn't like the special character so let's just call that an O1. Okay, so we did that. Uh, if I want another group It created GRP or GP002. Once again, I can right click, open a new window, and now I have three windows open. I can also copy, uh, let's copy some more. This one through here. I'm going to write or control C to copy and come over here and control V to paste. And so now I have two sets of, of groups set up. And this is a way that, like I said earlier, that you can segregate your lake. And when you're in your Hummingbird application on, on the lake, if you select a group, and then, it's, then the next screen is going to show the icons, you can, as you scroll down through your icons, it'll take you to each one on the lake. And so that really helps me out a lot because you can, you can go through a lot of waypoints very quickly and find it just exactly what it is you want to look at. That's our chapter on groups.